Well, hello to you. It's Scott Pickens here and founder of Wealth Migrate, and it's time for another wealth, weekly Wealth Insight. I'm sorry we didn't have one last week. You know, two weeks ago, we did, uh, we did eight events in six days in five cities, and clearly it took its toll because on Thursday, I came down with tonsillitis and, uh, and a fever and antibiotics, and, and on Friday, I was completely man down and uh, trying to sleep, which is quite difficult when you're looking after a seven-year-old. So at least you know that these are real and, uh, <laughs> you know, there's no studio time here. Anyway, what is this weekly wealth insight about? Well, I've spoken about this a number of times, but we are at a very, very pertinent time in your life, in the year, and in the decade. And I thought that it was time to repeat it. You know, I'm wearing a shirt called Occupy Mars. Now, this is from uh, Elon Musk, and it's an audacious goal. It's their goal that drives SpaceX because they want to get to Mars. They want to, they believe that to, to save human history, they need to be able to colonize Mars so that if we destroy planet Earth, they can move to Mars. You know, I've got the saying behind me, a global citizen. It's another audacious goal. How can you become a global citizen? Not just a citizen of your country, but a global citizen. You know, they talk about an MTP, a massive transformative purpose. We want to empower a billion people. That's massive, but how do we do it? And how can we transform the world? And it's a purpose that helps you get out of bed. It's a purpose that helps you drive. No matter how difficult the day is, no matter how difficult the week or the year, it drives you with your purpose. I can say for myself, you know, I, uh, I was a young entrepreneur and you know, making money and all that sort of stuff. But when I truly found my purpose, it really gave me that extra energy, that extra rocket boost. And so for me, what is this Wealth Insight about? It's about goals. And you've heard me talk about this before. And next week, um, for the Wealthy Wednesday, next week um, on the first Wednesday of, of next month, and that will be the, oh, trip, I don't actually know the date. Uh, the first, the second, the, the fourth. I think it's about the fourth of December. Um, at 5 p.m. GMT time, I'm going to be running a whole session on goal planning. Now, I've learned from the best in the world. I've learned from Tony Robbins. I've learned from Hannah Strayer. I've learned from Chet Holmes. I've learned from Richard Neft. I have literally had life or business coaches for 20 years. And what I did is I took all their different systems and I brought them together into one system. Now, there is no one perfect system. You need your own system. But I'm going to share with you the system that I've used that culminates all the best systems around the world. Oh, Roger Hamilton's another one. Where I brought them all together and I've got a system. Now, I'm happy to share that system with you. I'm happy to share the templates. It's 20 years worth of work that I've brought together and I can make your life really easy. You know, the metaphor I use is I've had the privilege of climbing uh, Kilimanjaro. And, you know, if you're going to climb a mountain, you've got to know where the top of the mountain is. You know, climbing Kilimanjaro was hell of a difficult. In fact, people die climbing Kilimanjaro. And if you don't know where you're going, you're just going to walk around and around and around the base. And when we climbed Kilimanjaro, we had to go up, we had to go down so we could climatize. But at the end of the day, we had, there are many ways to get up Kilimanjaro, but there's only one top. And, and that's your life. Okay? And that's why goals become so critically important because they give you direction. You know, as Roger Hamilton says, there's plenty of information out there, but there's no direction. Goals give you that direction. You need long-term goals. You need medium-term goals. You need short-term goals. You know, people overestimate what they can do in a year, but they underestimate what they can do in a decade. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at the end of a decade and we're at the start of the next decade. It's one of the most exciting decades in human history. It's going to be one of the most disruptive decades in human history. Another disruptive decade, just by the way, was from literally at the end of the 1919, so the, 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 what they call the Roaring Twenties, when a huge amount of wealth was accumulated. And then what was interesting is that then they had the massive crash in 1929. And a lot of wealth was destroyed. But interestingly enough, a lot of wealth was also created. If you've got the right mindset, if you've got the right skills, do you know that Joe Kennedy started in 1929 with $4 million? And by 1934, he had $130 million. And that is how the Kennedy family set up their entire dynasty. Do you know that Walmart, Disney, Microsoft, Airbnb, Uber have all been created in a recession? Do you know what is absolutely fascinating when you look at the stats and the information is that it's all about your mindset. Sir John Templeton is literally one of the greatest investors of the 20th century. 
He made all his money investing in Poland when Germany invaded them. Then he invested in Japan straight after Japan was bombed with the atom bomb. And he also invested in Argentina when Britain was going to war with Argentina. So the question is, what are you going to do? How are you going to set yourself apart as we go into the next decade? You've heard me say this a thousand times. Mindset and psychology is 80% and your execution is only 20%. But you've got to know where you're going. There are three things to succeed in the future. It's your value. You know, it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. But there are going to be many, many opportunities in the next three years. And ultimately, it'll be the person that adds the most value, the most perceived value to their clients that is going to win. You need to shift the quality of life, their life. You need to fall in love with your customer, not your product. You need to make it a necessity, not an accessory. And you need to have raving fans. You know, readers are leaders. 58% of Americans don't read nonfiction. A Harvard study says that 90% of people will not learn anything after school. And the one that I love is that problems are your best friend because they help you have breakthroughs. They're the secret. The secret is to having better quality problems. Do you, know, do you think Warren Buffett and Richard Branson have bigger or smaller problems than you? And so these are all mindset things that I'm going to be talking about next week to get you ready. But at the end of the day, You've got to know where you're going. You've got to know what your top of your mountain is. You've got to know what your goals are. You've got to know what you want to achieve in this decade. And then you've got to work backwards. You've got to chunk it down so that you can actually achieve it. And I'm going to share with you on how to do it. And so it's a free, it's a free webinar for everyone. It's Wealthy Wednesday. It's our day to share. Today is Black Friday. Many, many people are going to go out and waste their money on trinkets that they won't even remember in a year's time. I suggest that you follow Warren Buffett's analogy of the number one thing that you can do on the planet. The number one investment is to invest in yourself, both in time and in education. If, you, if you've missed our Black Friday special, go and take action. We have a 96% discount today for people to join the inner circle where they join the global community, they get access to all our resources, and they get a $100 voucher so that they can get started in real life investment with real people making real investments in real estate. And so that's Scott signing out for this week. Throat is still a little bit squeaky. At least that tonsillitis has left. And I can't wait to sharing with you next week one of the things that I'm most passionate about. My number one driver is results. And to get results, you need goals so that you know you have milestones along the journey to know that you're getting there. If you enjoyed this, subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friends. Do me a favor. We want to empower a billion people. We can't do it on our own. It is our collective responsibility to share the knowledge, to share the education so that people can get the self-belief. They can have the self-respect. They can become authorities in their own life to make the decisions that they need to make so that they too can create the freedom that they want as we go into the next decade. Let's create the world we want to see. And I invite you to make sure that we let as many people know about it as possible. And if you want to know what's in it for you, just think of what Zig Ziglar says. You can have anything you want in life if you help enough other people get what they want. How many other people are you adding value to? Because that is the key to success in the next decade. Cheers.